Here's 10 top tips, tricks and hacks for your TT or triathlon bike. They're mainly marginal gains and practical ideas and some of which you may already know and use. And if there's some I've missed, let me know in the comments and I'll make another video. I know everyone's attention spans are short these days, so I'm gonna try and keep all this under five minutes. Castle Coombe in the UK TT, some years back, four laps, got confused and did five, so I didn't win. Simply put elastic bands on your TT bars and move them down for each lap. Ideally use red loom bands as they're faster, fact. Most people tape gels to their top tube in races, but walking through transition or at the start line of a TT, I often see people taping the body of the gel to the top tube. Just take the tear away tab at the top, I snip these a bit to make them easier to tear, and then just pull the gel away from it. Stick the empty gel wrapper down your skin suit or tri suit and keep Britain tidy in it. You've probably seen the pros do this and I can't recommend it highly enough. Even though I use a little thin bar tape, I like to have my hands loose with as little tension as possible on the skis. So a little bit of grip tape allows me just to use my fingers to hold on. Just a standard roll of skateboard tape, cut to size and stuck on. Properly rad, dude. If you use DI2 cables, shrink wrapping them to your rear brake cable will neaten everything up and cut down on the amount of cables out there in the wind. Shrink wrap and a heat gun are super cheap and you can feel like BA Baracus building something in the 18 van. I can't stand saddlebags and I don't have water bottle cages on the frames to carry tools. I've managed to get spare inner tube, CO2 cylinder, valve and even a tyre lever taped into the space under the saddle. I'd imagine it's fairly aero as it should be in mainly dirty air too. Filthy air I'd go as far as to say. I'm lucky in my van we have USB sockets to charge DI2 batteries, but I'm always a bit paranoid about it running out, so I use a cheap battery pack to charge it and still keep the bike mobile. You can charge your power meter and Garmin off it too, neat and tidy. Ratley inner tube valves are a real pain on British roads. A simple solution is to pierce a piece of insulation tape over the top and tape it to the rim. In a similar vein, there's loads of bolt covers that can be taped too. And no, I wouldn't use white tape. Who do you think I am? I just used it so you could see it. But I even removed the bottle cage bolts and use a home moldable plastic called Multimorph to make the covers for the holes. Bonker stuff Multimorph. I might do a separate video on this. It's proper MacGyver. You've probably seen the pros using grip tape on their saddles, and you've probably also seen that famous shot of Tony Martin having sanded his nether regions. I prefer this stuff. It's called Vet Wrap, and rather than some cheesy charity hip-hop single raising money for the local dog home, it's an anti-slip tape that only sticks to itself and keeps you nicely planted. Anyone that owns a disc will know the fun and games of finding tape wide enough to cover the valve hole. It's an excuse though. Oh no mate, I'm not taking this race seriously. Look, I haven't even taped the valve hole. Luke Hurst and his company Aerocat make custom magnetic covers. The link's in the description and no, this isn't sponsored. I just like neat solutions and magnets. At some point with a TT bike, you'll need zip ties for something. Anyone who's run their hand along the jagged edge of a zip tie knows the unique agony of cutting yourself on the plastic. Nail clippers, simple, just use nail clippers but not your husband's or your wife's nail clippers, or that zip tie injury won't seem quite so painful. You can use them to snip them off too. The zip ties, not your other half. There, so if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing or even sharing this video with anyone you think might be interested. Here's a playlist of other TT and Tri related videos that I've made. Have a good ride.